Yeah, still a few things, still a few things about cooking on the Emma. Um, I mentioned uh, in the previous video that um, it's good to have this pressure cooker and the cast iron pan, but I didn't explain why. Well, the reason is that now it's under pressure and I can put it to the side and I can put another thing on the stove. So the, the plate for cooking is relatively small, but you can still kind of juggle two meals at the same time. So the cast iron pans, it keeps some heat for some time and this pressure cooker keeps with the pressure that can contains there. Uh, it's good to keep cooking. And then I have these little little helpers, these wire rings. So sometimes I um, the stove is too hot and I just want it to simmer. Um, for example, you see when I make my shagar tea in this pot, I don't want it to boil. Here's the pot with the shagar tea. So I put one of these, um, these, oops, where did it go now? <laughs> one of these wire rings under the pot so it doesn't boil anymore. That's a nice little trick. Um, yeah, and then of course, a uh, very good thing is also um, these kind of thermos bottles and thermos uh, food containers. So you can um, make food in there. So usually my morning porridge, I just take the hot water that I packed in the thermos in the evening and then I put it in the little pot with, uh, with the oat flakes, oatmeal, and then I put it into a woolen cover that I made for this pot. So, and uh, yeah, works really well. <laughs> that was a little update for the cooking with the Emma.